I know it's not gonna be everyone's vibe, but I freaking I love, love it. it. I just feel like I can't touch right? The softest, most comfortable legs. Oh my god, the one that just sent me into a spiral. What is up you guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog i have a mystery it is thursday today i'm only just picking up my vlog camera i don't know if you can still hear it in my voice but i was down bad with a cold um i had tuesday off work and then i worked yesterday i was only planning on working for a few hours because it's end of month obviously working in accounts is like there's a lot of work to do and there was certain things and procedures that i just had to do so i was planning on just working a few hours and then i ended up working the whole day um just dosed up on a ton of Panadol and uh, got through the day. And yeah, I've been working from home again today. It's been super busy at work, uh, obviously being end of month, or I guess it's the beginning of the new month, but we're still working on end of month stuff. Happy 1st of De December, <laughs> September, first day of spring. I'm so excited. And it's really like, this is the epitome of spring weather right now. Nothing but blue skies and sunshine ideal today is also the first day where i'm starting to actually feel a little bit more human i even put on some makeup i know because i knew that i'd be in like meetings all morning so i actually put in a little bit of effort with my appearance we didn't quite get there with the hair but that's fine baby steps yeah i swear there's so much illness going around this winter i don't know about you guys but i feel like everyone i know is sick not necessarily with miss rona but just with like colds i guess it makes sense we have all actively avoided each other for the last like two years so it makes sense now that we're all starting to mingle again um that we're just spreading around all these viruses but yeah i swear everyone has been sick even nick he never gets sick he's been sick twice this winter that's when you know it's bad anyway i am feeling a lot better i also got a couple of packages in the mail which i thought i would unbox with you guys these were actually delivered on monday but i have just been feeling so sick i haven't unboxed them so i thought i would do it with you guys i love love a good unboxing this package is from rockwear i how many things did i get two <laughs> i'm like what did i order i got these when they were doing their art pay day sale i was in need of some like basic black leggings i think these are the same ones that i already have and have actually worn to death like to the point there is a hole the size of a 20 cent coin in the crutch area so it's about time oh i think they are oh yes these are the Lux Soft Ultra High Rise Tights. I wear a size 12. I got these on sale, I think originally, yeah, they're $80 and I think I got them for like 50 maybe, I wanna say, maybe even less, I don't know. The softest, most comfortable leggings, like hands down, they're the perfect high rise fit. The length is perfect as well. I'm like five foot 10, so um, sometimes leggings, you know, they say full length and then they are looking a little, like three quarters. If you're in the market for some plain black leggings for more everyday wear, like that soft kind of material, I'd really recommend these. They're stunning. And then, oh, I also got a sports bra because this was also on sale. I don't even remember how much it was. I really like the sports bras I have from Rockwear. Um, they actually fit my boobies, which is <laughs> honestly a miracle. So I thought I would give this one a go. It's a little bit of a zip moment which i don't know how we're gonna get on with this um like are my boobs oh it has a clasp that's good so it's not just a zipper it's got a little clasp in the middle which is handy so i can feel a little bit more secure but yeah i thought i would give it a go um i really like the colors as well with like the nude a bit of pink and black yeah i will let you guys know how i get on with that and then this is the infamous dress. If you watched my last weekly vlog, I ordered a dress for, um, well not for, but before we went on a wine tour, like with the intention of wearing it for that event, if I liked the fit. And it didn't come in time, which was a shame. I ended up buying another dress, which I love and I know that I'll rewear. Yes, this dress finally arrived on Monday, a little too late, but that's fine. Um, I ordered it from Le Bahin, and it's their poppy maxi dress. I have been eyeing off for the longest time. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I feel like the pink one is really popular. They have it in black, white. I think it's like oatmeal color. I was tossing up for the longest time, like, do I need this dress? And then we had this wine tour organized and I was like, oh, twist my arm. I'll buy the dress just for this occasion. Then it didn't obviously even come in time. <laughs> but depending obviously how it fits, because it is a one size fits all dress, which I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Yeah, depending how it fits, I think I will wear the heck out of it, especially this 
summer. I feel like it's, I'm not really doing it justice because it looks like I'm literally a pilgrim. I'll do a little try on maybe later and give you guys the full vision, but uh, yeah. It's like this long maxi style. I don't think it will be super long on me because as I said, I'm quite tall. The sleeves is really what sold me. They're like these big puff sleeves. I love a good puff sleeve. It has these tortoiseshell buttons as well all down the front, which I will obviously be unbuttoning just to give it a little something something. And then it also has a tie waist as well so I can create a nice hourglass shape. Anyway, we'll, go, we'll see. I'll have to try it on um, and see what I think of it. But yeah, that was the dress that never came. I mean, it's kind of my fault because I didn't get express shipping, but I really thought I'd be here in time. Anyway, that's my little unboxing. I am about to head out. I'm on my break at the moment, so I'm gonna go for a walk. Just enjoy the sunshine while I can. I think a bit of fresh air will do me some good and probably stop and get a coffee uh, on my walk because I haven't had a coffee yet today. That's like almost one. Like, how is that possible? Am I feeling okay? Clearly not. Outfit change. I put on my new leggings. They're the exact same as my old ones, but just newer, fresher, doesn't have a hole in the crotch. Also doesn't have like fuzzies all over them. I should really get another pair, maybe when they're on sale next, cause I just wear them all the time. I've also changed my, I've changed from one jumper to another, but this is my walking jumper. I am about to put on a podcast in my goofy little headphones. They make me look like a DJ. And, uh, you know, we're gonna spin some tracks or whatever DJs do. <laughs> I mean, they look ridiculous, but they really do the job in terms of the sound department. I actually can't hear anything else as well because they had noise cancelling, so. <coughs> <coughs> has been obtained I have already drunk it because it's literally the size of my pinky and this was a large six dollars sorry anyway I can just finish that in like two gulps I'm feeling caffeinated though I'm about to log on and resume work for the afternoon I guess I'll talk you through what like a typical end of month looks like just because I get a lot of questions about what working in accounts is like and it obviously completely depends on the role I work as an AR officer so accounts receivable my typical end of month includes doing the statements like the monthly statements making sure that those go out correctly we have like over 500 customers so just making sure that they will receive them we have like an automated system like i'm not sitting there individually <laughs> sending them out but just making sure it runs uh separate like rental invoices that we have to run i ran that yesterday and those were sent out this morning so i've done that already and then just like a lot of payment allocations i need to finish off the bank recs as well just finish reconciling everything i've done one of the accounts i need to finish the other one because we work a day backwards like even though today is the first of september you always work from the day before so the payments that came in yesterday i'm reconciling those and it's a lot because everyone's paying before the end of month um, which is like typical payment terms so i don't know if that makes any sense then from there like each individual payment you assign to the account so whoever's paid and then also allocate that payment to each individual invoice this afternoon i have a lot of payment allocations to do because there's some accounts that are like two hundred thousand dollars and you have to allocate every single set to the correct invoice. So that's largely what my afternoon is gonna consist of. It's kind of therapeutic, like making sure everything matches up. I just find it really satisfying personally, but after a while your eyes do go blurry, like checking back and forth between two different screens just to make sure everything matches up. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I just put the dress on. What do we think? I know it's not gonna be everyone's vibe, but I freaking love it. Definitely needs an iron, and I need to like iron the collar so it goes like this, because I feel like that's more flattering with my boobs. But I love it. The sleeves, iconic. Like, I feel like a little pilgrim princess. I'm living for it. And a little tie on the waist, I feel like it's so flattering. And love the material and quality as well. 
10 out of 10. I will be ordering this in every single color. Anyway, it is 4.15. I've officially finished work for the day. I'm going to get changed out of this dress now that I've tried it on and fallen in love. And honestly, kind of feel like going for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? She can't hear a thing. Lily's deaf, if you guys don't know. She is 13, so she she's old. Um, but I was talking about this the other day with someone, and I was like, do you think they know that they can't hear and that they've lost their hearing? Or do they think that everyone's just stopped talking to them? And then I felt really sad. Like, does she think that we don't say good girl anymore? I don't know. Oh God, the thought of that just sent me into a spiral. Like, do dogs know that they've lost their hearing or do they think the world's just gone silent? I have no idea. Anyway, the thought of that is really sad. <laughs> She's still out here living her best life. I'm gonna take her for a walk and uh, yeah, enjoy some more sunshine. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is 4.30, so it's quite late in the day. Um, I've just like barely vlogged the last 24 hours because I've had the worst hay fever. I just feel like I can't catch a break. Sick, just started my period. <laughs> now I've got like the worst hay fever ever. I can't stop sneezing. And it's like that constant feeling like just before you sneeze, but all of the time, which is the worst. And my eyes are burning, like it's just, not a vibe, but I'm not here to complain. I'm here to say happy Saturday. I'm still having the best day or I have, have had the best day. Nick and I went for a cute little date day. Went for, I guess it was like lunchtime, but we both got like breakfast foods. Let me adjust my camera, is that better? Yeah, we went to a place called 30 Acre in Norwood, which is super cute. And just Norwood in general, I never really go to that area, but if you're ever visiting Adelaide, it's very cute. Went to Burnside. Where they have a Zara, I didn't get anything, but it was cool to look around. Did get a um, card for tomorrow because it's Father's Day, and also picked up a drum and golf gift card. Um, how cute is this little Father's Day card? I thought it was super cute. Anyway, it's now 4.30. Nick's just gone for a hit with his brother. I think I'm just gonna chill out, maybe play some Sims. I've been like hardcore into Sims recently. Normally I go through phases where I'm like obsessed with it, like addicted nonstop playing for like 16 hours straight. And then I don't play it for like six months, but I have been playing it sporadically and I'm loving it. I don't know why. I'm just on a big Sims kick right now. Oh, actually I might read instead. I downloaded the third book in the Inheritance Games series, which just came out recently. I read the first two earlier this year and I loved them. I, for some reason, had it in my head that this was coming out in November. I don't know why. I don't know where I got that from, but then I saw Rachel post about it. I was like, oh, I have to download it. So I just finished my other book, which was All Your Perfects. Is that what it's called? Let me have a look. Yeah, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, which was okay. It wasn't like my favorite, like a three and a half stars. It wasn't anything special, but it was like a decent read. It wasn't super corny like some other coho books I've read, which is nice. Like that's the thing I just can't handle. <laughs> but I think it wasn't super corny because it was about the like breakdown of a marriage. So <laughs> they didn't really have the room to be. Yeah, it was pretty good. There was some good messages. There was just like a lot of miscommunication, which was really bothersome to me. It was just like, if you, like nothing would have been an issue if they just spoke to each other. But I guess that's the point of the book. And yeah, touched on some potentially triggering things. So definitely read up on the trigger warnings, like infertility, cheating, that kind of thing. Um, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Anyway, so I might do some reading. I just don't know if I can with these eyes. Do I look high? Like my eyes are so red right now. <laughs> oh God, not cute. I took some medication, so hopefully I start feeling better tonight and I can have just a chill night in. I don't think we have any plans tonight, which is kind of nice. And then tomorrow is Father's Day. I'll show you guys what we get up to tomorrow. And then I have to film a video as well because I have a sponsorship, so I need to send that through. I think I'm gonna film my payday routine, which I'm excited about. I tried to film it last week, but I just wasn't in the correct headspace. So I'm excited to like sit down, refilm it. Yeah, that's the update <laughs> that nobody asked for. Also, before I get a million and one questions, because I always do every time I wear this, jumper is from Target. I know it's not really the season for it now, we're actually going into spring, so like maybe no one wants to know, but yes, this is from Target. It was like, what was it? Lillian, 30 bucks, 40 maybe. Also, I forgot that I hadn't shown you guys this because this was from earlier in the week, don't mind my bed. We just put our sheets in the wash, so I need to put new ones on, but 
this was super cool youtube australia and new zealand shared my channel as a creator on the rise it's not the coolest thing ever and you guys are being so sweet in the comments oh so cool when they emailed me to say that i would be featured i was like surely not but here we are a creator on the rise <laughs> i don't know what that means but i'm honored i truly am so thank you so much i honestly just wake up every day so grateful to have this as an outlet like it brings me so much peace and so much comfort and is so therapeutic for me and i feel like a lot of you have truly been there from the very beginning like have watched me through all my different stages of life and i'm sure you guys will be there for future stages as well like it's just so cool to have this as like a little side hustle i don't even know if you'll call it a side hustle at this point like a part-time job honestly to be able to make money and like do what i love at the same time is like the coolest thing ever so yeah i feel very grateful anyway that was my good bit of news this week i forgot that i hadn't told you guys also one of you messaged me and said let me find the message because it was actually the sweetest thing in my life one of you guys had a baby and sent me the sweetest message i won't share the photo because i'm not sure if she wants me to share but she said hey lovely i'm a long time youtube sub and i've been loving your content lately i wanted to introduce you to ella she is 10 days old loved the name ever since finding you on youtube a few years ago thank you for being such an inspiration and then she sent me a photo of the baby the baby Ella and she is the freaking cutest baby I've ever seen. You know how like some, no offense, but some newborns come out looking like freaking aliens? She, this is a cute newborn. And the sweetest, like when I got that, I was like, oh, oh so cute, baby Ella. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's been a week. I'm emotional. Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, or father figures, should I say? I don't. I think it's only Father's Day in Australia and probably New Zealand. I don't think it's Father's Day anywhere else. Sending all my love to. Sorry, that's the dishwasher. <laughs> Sending all my love to anyone that yeah is struggling on this day. I know. It's a happy day for some, but also not for a lot of people. So I'm sending all my love. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better today. The hay fever is still very much there but slightly better, which is good. Got to stop on some medication. I had myself a whole ass morning. Went for a walk, grabbed a coffee, took a shower, got ready, and now it's nearly 10. We're about to go get my dad a coffee because he slept in this morning. Went in room, um, and then, yeah, you guys will see what else we get up to. He has no idea.